epoxy got in the bushing here. Just going to clear it out. It's uh, sticking out a bit too far, so I'm just going to sand it down a bit. This bolt is going to be the rudder pin. I have to cut this off and draw a little hole in it for just one of these things. And that'll hold it in place. I think I'll need to go up to three millimeters because. Uh, it's not fitting through. I had to go up to four millimeter. I don't have a three and a half millimeter drill bit apparently. It smells like popcorn. Washer on both sides. A lot easier to align than a center board. Yep, that's how the uh, rudder gets held in. So, my pintles and my gudgeons have arrived. I think that's a pintle. And this is a gudgeon. At least, this has a pin on it. And like, why would it be called a pintle if it doesn't have a pin? So I'm gonna go with that. This one will go on the transom, and this one will go on the rudder, and it goes down like that. And you know, that's the hinge. So the rudder, at least the top of it's here. Pintles will go like that. You know, I have to determine the exact position, but they'll go somewhat like that. Now the astute amongst you might have noticed, this doesn't really fit. It's probably like a millimeter or two off. It's pretty close, but the uh, rudder is definitely a little bit too thick. So we just need to uh, shave a tiny little bit off each side of this uh, rudder top here, and then these should slot on quite nicely. Well, I've done a bit of measuring and I've done a bit of drawing. Pintles, 54 millimeters thick in this area here. The 80 millimeters long, 25 wide. So what that means. The rudder itself is 56.3 millimeters thick at these points. So we need to shave 2.3 millimeters off that. So we'll just do one and a bit on either side. So I've drawn some lines here, you know, where the two screws would go. You know, if I moved it up and down. And I've drawn this curve here, which corresponds to this uh, space here. Because we don't want to drill through and uh, then discover, you know, we're just in the midair. I wanted to give this a pretty wide berth. So this point here, if that was a uh, drill hole, it would be about 20 millimeters away. This line here is the lowest that the bottom pintle could go. And likewise for the upper pintle, I've drawn these two lines and they correspond to this hole here that the uh, up and down holes go in. That's probably where those will go. All right, I'm basically ready to go here. I've set the depth on this little boy to uh, 1.15 mil. I've got this uh, fence here. So the edge of this will run along that and that should get me exactly in the line. The edge bit will be a little bit trickier. I might just have to kind of freehand it. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, we're exactly on the line. Pretty good fit. I accidentally went a little bit too far here when I was uh, hollowing out the middle. The freehand worked out pretty well. I think that'll probably do for that side. Pretty good again, but I wasn't paying attention and I went over the line this way. Uh, oh well. Finally, after doing four of them, I got one of them right. Fits good. If I did everything right, and this thickness here should now be 54. 
54.22 and this one 54.28. I think that'll probably do. Still maybe a little bit tight around these edges, but it does kind of curve in pretty good. But I'll bring it a little bit in here and do the middle bits. I'm just gonna do these bits live! Pretty good for free, Anne. I need to bring it down slightly. Mess that one up a little bit more. Finally, I just need to round off these edges a little bit. As the bend, you can see, it's never a straight right angle. That's currently holding everything up. Yeah, there's still something stopping that one. Maybe need to round it over a bit more. This one's in good though. Slightly off, eh? How'd that happen? Well, I'll just drill through from this side. That's better. There we go. Oh, check out that majesty. Both through bolted, both dry fit, and they fit pretty good. You know, a couple of issues up here with uh, digging a bit too much out, but chuck a bit of filler in that. Big, big bit there, don't know how I managed that, but. And the uh, gudgeons here, which will go on the transom. And these should be in line. There's a little bit of play, so that'll be right. I'll just, uh, you know, make sure it's attached when I screw this on. I realize that they are quite close together, but that was pretty much as far apart as I could get them, taking into account this cavity and this hole here. I'm hoping that's fine. Time to mount the gudgeons on the transom. This will be a job for Lazy Boy, I think. I have to strike a line down the exact center of the transom here. Make sure that the rudder is not off-center. I have a convenient line drawn on the top of the transom already. So, laser. 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 For some reason, I'm not 100% sure my laser level is still level. I did drop it a couple of times, like, not super high, but like, on the bench. And when I drew the line vertically with the laser, and then I just double-checked it with this level, there was a discrepancy, and I'm like, hmm, what's going on there? I'm just gonna do it with this level, and also, you know, measuring down here, approximately halfway in between, and see, you know, how that goes. Got the rudder all lined up, just got it sort of temporarily clamped in place, and this uh, gudgeon on the bottom is held on to the pintle with a little hose clamp, so, you know, that's where it'll sit. Uh, in real life and everything's centered and we've got the uh, tiller going through the hole in the center and there's enough clearance through the hole hard to see because of the darkness but there's enough clearance for the hole where the uh, line for the uh, rudder up hole comes through this is all at a good height and that's it it's straight up it's it's good it's all good it's just gonna drill it eh yeah It's pretty good. Well, that can go up and down. You can go starboard to port. You can just lift it up and you can take it off. Well, you can't take it off because the tiller gets in the way. But I think that's a safety feature, right? So you have to take the tiller off in order to take the rudder off. Which is good because if you capsize, you don't want the rudder falling off and going into the sea. Oh, oh whoops, heavy, heavy. It's not just that it's heavy. When you screw them in, the alignment is not like 100%. It's probably like 99.9 .9 or something. And so it makes it a little bit difficult to get up because, you know, the uh, gudgeon holes are not exactly straight up and down from each other. It's not super issue because everything still moves really nice and smoothly. But 
you know, it's going to be pretty difficult to nigh impossible to get that. So what are you going to do? Yeah, pretty happy with that. Of course, it all comes off again and then painting and all sorts of things. But uh, yeah, I like it. Thank you.